Today is Good Friday. Today is the day when we Christians remember the lengths to which the Lord Jesus Christ went to save humanity from our own brokenness, to redeem us of all the world of evil, and establish us in good. From today until the sun begins to break over the eastern horizon on Sunday morning, we're called to contemplate a world bereft of the power of God's steadfast love, a world in which evil and cruelty and injustice hold power. So this is the day in which the one who is called the Prince of Peace met with the violent death. As it is written, like a lamb led to the slaughter, like a sheep before its shearers is silent, he opened not his mouth. Jesus absolutely refused to meet evil with evil, to confront the power of this world with its own cruelty. And so those who held cruel power and whoever anywhere always hold cruel power were met with love. This morning's reading from the Hebrew scriptures comes from the Lamentations of Jeremiah, a book written amidst the smoldering ruins and devastation of the Babylonian destruction of Jerusalem. This is what a portion of that reading says. When all the prisoners of the land are crushed underfoot, when human rights are perverted in the presence of the Most High, when one's case is subverted, does the Lord not see it? About 150 years ago, Lord Acton observed power corrupts, absolute power corrupts absolutely. Where is power in the world today? Where is corruption? Where is the obscene inversion of the bonds of love transformed into the yoke of tyranny? These are the places where Jesus bears witness to steadfast love. For us, over the next day and a half, let us not only contemplate power in this world, let us hold fast, and maybe even beyond the strength of our ability to hold, let us be held fast by the promise of a loving God who does see, who is present, and who is powerful. To redeem. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, the corrupting power of this world is not only around us but in us. Cleanse us from our sin. Remove by your atoning death the barrier that stands between us and our God and the redeeming power of steadfast love. Amen.